The Indian stock market, seen as a closed shop to the outside world. While there's foreign investment here, there is a limit to how much foreigners can own or invest in Indian businesses. In the past, foreign investors could only put their money in portfolios that were packaged products offered by banks and financial institutions. That's all about to change. As Indian economy is a growing economy and still next 20 years it is going to grow and tremendous opportunities are there in India. While the global economic gloom persists, India's growth is expected to be 7% this year. It may not be what economists had hoped for, but it's positive news. And it's that type of growth that's attracting people like Suresh Ladwa, a British lawyer who's come to India to find investment opportunities for his clients back home. Investing through funds has been an expensive exercise for most clients. Um, and whilst returns have been good and, and people have been investing in India particularly, um, it, it's been limited investment, um, particularly from an indiv individual's point of view. The government is often accused by Indian industrialists for not being proactive in attracting foreign investment directly or indirectly. By opening up the stock markets to foreign nationals, the government hopes to prove to the global community that it's open for business without allowing its internal detractors of accusing it of selling out. They are coming here to gain the money and the moment they come, they, they withdraw the money where our stock markets will hang and the poor investor will be the most sufferer and because of that our Indian rupee will never get stabilised. International financial institutions don't see it like that. In the construction industry, investments by private equity funds grew by 69% in 2011. This was because developers found that there was a drop in home sales and banks were reducing their risk to real estate companies. The debate has to be on the lines whether India wants to remain completely isolated from the rest of the world or it wants to be part of the global growth story. No country, including India, can take a position that they want foreign money to come in only on the terms that they want and in sectors that they want, and rest of the things will be as per their line. India has to decide whether it wants to be part of the global story or not. At a time when the world's richest economies are struggling, India is seen as an attractive investment destination. No one for the moment can say whether individual foreign investors or the government will profit from this venture. But India is willing to bet it will be mutually beneficial. Sahil Rahman, Al Jazeera, Mumbai.